welcome back to my channel this is nasu with fight for kidneys where i come to you live and talk to you about kidney disease and what you can do to protect your kidneys or to prevent your kidneys from failing again thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for sharing and today before i get to the topic of uh, of today or to what i will be discussing I know sometimes I reference and I say we so when I make these videos I also have a help I also have help from my nephews and I need to recognize them for the work they do to make it more um, entertaining more creative I can talk but they make it more creative they give you guys the visual and those two guys are my nephews uh, and that's Kamau and Mwangi. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, for all the support you have been giving me, for always volunteering to edit the videos, or basically even to put the um to make it more entertaining. So I appreciate you guys. I do not take it for granted, and I know the future is bright for all of us. That we're gonna do more, and every time we touch a life, your life is also touched. So from the bottom of my heart. I want to say thank you, thank you so much to Kamau and Mwangi. They are my nephews, one in Kenya and one just moved in US. So I'm so happy for you guys for all the support you give me. Anyway, let's get back to business. So I talk a lot about kidney disease and kidney health because that's my area of specialty and that's where I'm always I know when I say I'm happy, I know when people you do nursing or whatever health, whatever career you are in, there's that portion where you feel you are comfortable and you're happy doing what you do and you love doing it. Sometimes I don't feel like it's a job, I feel like it's a calling. And although I get paid, I still enjoy interacting and learning more and coming here and telling you guys about the things that I experience and the things that I see so that I can educate you and make sure and please if you listen then you might not get into that stage or you might not get to face that because you start doing the preventive measures so today I have a topic that really most people don't even talk about it and probably nobody want to deal with it I remember in nursing school if you're not in nursing school even in my career if somebody tell you you have to correct this sample you are like holy cow who wanna deal with this but before we get in correcting your sample let me educate you so that you can be able to let your provider know about your health and how much it means and how it can tell about your health by just looking at it and I say there's such important items in your life that will tell you so much about your health even before you go pay for testing and everything else so before you go to your doctor before you assume things come to me come come let's talk and today we are talking about poop we all poop everybody poop and you know as mothers if our child did not poop we'll be like oh we'll be worried we'll be concerned we wanted to know when the babies were young we wanted to know what kind of poop they are pooping how does it look you know you know we, we were so involved about knowing about poop but when it comes to us our own health we are not even we don't look at it we are ashamed to look at the poop you know but i tell you do not be ashamed always look at your poop because your poop okay your poop what goes in the bathroom when you poop tells so much about your health so before we without wasting so much time uh let's get into it and let's see what exactly it means and what does that poop tells you or what does it say about you? What does it say about your health? What does it, what signal is it giving you? Do you look at that poop and say, mm, whatever, let me keep going. <laughs> or do you look at that poop and you're like, mm, something, you know, and you look at it again, you look at it again and you're like, mm, this, mm, this. And unfortunately, we have some places where people don't even know how their 
poop look like because they go into the um the latrines that you poop everything drops in the in the pit and they don't know how it looks like until sometimes they go to the doctor and it's already too late but if you are lucky enough that you have a modern toilet and you have you poop and then you have to flush so when you turn around to press that button to flush look at your poop let's see what it tells you about your about your own health and see what you need to talk to your doctor about do you need to make a phone call do you need to get to be tested do you need to call so on a regular day poop may tell you so many things but one thing about poop and let's say about shape and i want you guys i'll just give you the normal shape but i want you guys to google uh it's called bristol stool chart google that bristol stool chart and it will tell you about the shapes what's normal what's not abnormal so let's look at the shape so a normal shape of a poop should look like a snake like okay you poop it looks you know <laughs> it should look like a snake like um and it should be uh it should have cracks in it or it should be thinner and it has smooth it is smooth and it's soft but if you find <laughs> I wish I can speak this in my own language because this, but if you find that poop is more bits, bit, bits, bits of it, we say it's like um, goat poop. You know, the way the goat poop, it's more pieces, small pieces everywhere. That means you are constipated. And if you find, and then if, of course, if you have the idea, the water is too, that knows something is going on with your GI system. But anyway, I want you guys to go and Google the Bristol uh, stool chart and know and understand what that, um, how your stool should look and what's normal and what's abnormal. All right, then the other thing we need to look at about poop is the color. So... I don't want you to be alarmed and say, hey, Susan said this and this, and I looked at my poop and it's this color, and oh, oh, I gotta call my doctor. No, 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 no. So, in a stool, your normal stool should be brown color. And that means it's the bile has mixed with your uh, with your pulp, the, you know, and has turned everything that you ate, the bile product, and it should. Sh turns that color into brown. It could also be the break, uh, the breakdown of red blood cells. When they reach their life cycle, they break down and they go get um, um, eliminated through your GI system. Or it could be the brown, normal brown. It's just the food that when they get digested and that's a brown color. So if you have a brown color, that's a normal color of your poop if your color turns to be green so these are the colors it could be any kind of food you eat so color could be based the poop of the uh, the color of the poop could be based on the kind of food you ate if you ate green vegetables if you ate certain fruits um if you ate um uh like uh, the dyes, so if you went to a party and you had all this cake with this food coloring in it, then that, food, that, that poop that comes out could be the color of what the food you ate. But pay attention to this. If that color persists for more than one day or two days, and you start getting this now, uh, these are the colors after two days, and you're like, oh, I ate this cake on Saturday. I pooped on Saturday, I pooped on Monday, and my poop is still red. That's, a, that, that's an alarm. It should be after you pooped that everything has come out of your system because I don't think you ate a whole cake. <laughs> Anything out of your system, the sh poop should resume into its brown color. But if it continues and you start getting now these other colors, then it alerts you there's something happening with your poop. So if you have like greenish poop and you know for sure you did not eat 
so many spinach you did not eat a lot of green vegetables you know and it persists after so many days that could be either you have a viral infection or you have a bacterial infection going on or it could be you are taking some kind of medications that are turning your poop to be that green uh, color if you have red um red poop that means you have some breeding on your um uh you have some breeding taking place uh in your uh in your uh in your bowels or in your lower <laughs> lower bowels and it could be you have any either hemorrhoids um you could have a um Either it's hemorrhoid or you could have, this is a sign, if it's red and really you, you don't have hemorrhoids, you don't think of anything that else could be going in, in your lower GI, you might have a steer or something because you have been pushing and then the blood, you see, you had constipation and you pushed so hard that you have a tear that could cause some breathing. Then if it's not those things, you could be, it could be correct draw cancer so you need to get checked if you have this breathing uh, stool that is reddish and you can't count it. it's not from the food it's not that you have hemorrhoids it's not that you were constipated um and you just keep seeing it so you need to check it and if you continue persisting for so many days for a couple of days you need to contact your doctor if you have brackish if your poop is black <laughs> I'm guys sorry but this the L and R but I hope you guys understand but if your poop is black <laughs> that means you have upper GI breed so you have an upper GI breed you have esophageal breed you have ulcers that are breeding by the time it gets mixed by the bowel duct then it could be um it could be turning to black so make sure if your bar is your stool black that could be you have some breeding that is happening a gi breed somewhere that is happening if you have yellowish or grayish um uh, poop so for the kids you remember when you were breastfeeding especially when um the initial breastfeeding when you start breastfeeding when the baby is uh is a new newborn so that poop used to be yellowish it looked like milkish that could have been from the, the the milk that's always from the milk the byproduct of the milk that the baby has been taking there's nothing else in the system it come in it come through it goes to the poop but if you are older and you have a yellow or grayish um poop that means you could have have uh, some liver issues gallbladder on pancreas disease and that's why i need people to be paying attention you hear people they go they hear oh they had a gallbladder uh, cancer they had a liver disease and sometimes but for liver disease by the time you get there you also start seeing some other signs but some people might not even see those signs they might not even understand they might be like looking like if you have a darker skin and people don't look at their eyes they might not even be able to tell that they have a liver disease so it depends with some people it might not even show that because depending on the pigmentation of their skin and if they have never been informed people might not even know so i'm talking to people to know that if you're not informed just looking at your poop and let me tell you this nobody if you poop every day you always know how your poop is and you have that body instincts it'll tell you that it, something is not right with your poop but you not know unless you look at that poop. So you have to look at that poop to be able to see, to see what's happening with your body. The other thing is about, um, about um, the smell. So all poop smell, they stink, but there's a smell that you are like, oh my goodness, something is going on. Especially if you have a bacterial infection or viral infection somewhere, that poop smells so bad. Especially C. diff, 
you can know everybody will tell you that smell burns your nose so if that smell you poop and it's burning is so strong then you need to go to your doctor and get checked anyway thank you guys i hope you will be looking at your poop not just pooping and flushing because you need to know the, 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 the color of your poop anyway guys thank you so much for subscribing thank you for liking and until next time goodbye